All right, an experimental skin cancer regimen, uh, regimen is uh, showing promise in fighting melanoma. The treatment combines a new mRNA vaccine with immunotherapy. The latest results from a study of high-risk patients showed reduced the change chances of skin cancer would spread or return after it was removed. This is fantastic news. We've got CNN's Meg Tyrell joining us now. Um, Meg, tell us about uh, this experimental vaccine and what it found and how um, it's uh, how effective it is, the efficacy, very exciting. Yeah, you know, it really is. We think of Moderna, of course, as the maker of the yeah. COVID mRNA vaccine. And this is a really similar idea. You're essentially delivering genetic instructions to the body to train the immune system uh, to better fight off an enemy. In this case, uh, it's individually tailored to each patient's cancer. They actually take a sample of the cancer, they sequence it, they decide using artificial intelligence what the best combination of mRNA uh, signatures should be. And then they, they give the uh, individualized treatment to the patient, they train their immune system to better fight the cancer. And they're doing this on top of a very powerful immunotherapy drug that's already approved called Keytruda. And what they found at this three-year follow-up is that that combination reduced the risk of the cancer coming back or of patients dying by almost half. And this is really important that we have three-year data now because it's showing that this treatment actually is durable. Previously, we only saw a two-year follow-up. Uh, now, in terms of the side effects here, they're actually pretty similar in terms of the most common ones to what you get with the COVID vaccine, fatigue, injection site pain, and chills. Uh, now, I was talking with Moderna CEO this morning, Stefan Bonsell, and he was saying the company is preparing potentially for this to be available as soon as 2025. They are building a new manufacturing plant here in the United States, in Massachusetts, to be ready potentially that soon. And melanoma isn't the only thing they're pursuing here. They're also starting late stage trials in a certain kind of lung cancer as well. So there's a hope, of course, this really opens up uh, better ways of fighting cancer, really on a personalized level.